Uh, let me ask, has the defense, while we're breaking, has the defense had uh, more conversations as to whether Grant Amato is testifying or not? Okay. All right. Uh, do we have Ms. Johansson in here? Okay, perfect. Go get the jury, please. Well, I'm trying to figure out if we're going straight into closings first thing tomorrow morning or if we're going into closings tomorrow afternoon. Oh, okay. <clears throat> That's what I was trying to figure out, so letting the jury know. So I'll just tell them to be here late tomorrow anyways. Are you going to be informing them of Rule 3.37 OC sequestration? As far as informing them of the rule of sequestration, you mean no, if they're going the jury home? Has, once the jury goes out to deliberate, they have to be sequestered overnight. If I know that, but I'm not, I'm not necessarily having them go out tomorrow. I'm going to have okay. you guys do your closings tomorrow. Yes, Your Honor, should I have someone for a drug court? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, on standby for drug court. I have Judge McIntosh covering for me for adult drug court. So if you want to have Mr. Schoenberg, Mr. Gilbert on call for you, that would probably be a good possibility. That's right. Because my thought is, um, I don't know if the jury's going to be deliberating at that point or not. So I've already made, uh, just in case, some. Um, That's my responsibility, Judge. I'll make change of arrangements. Okay. Chair is present. All right. Uh, the next witness was Ms. Johansson. That's correct, Judge. All right. Bring Ms. Johansson forward then. Come forward, ma'am, to the podium. Raise your right hand. Be ready to be sworn. I do. Thank you. you could please come have a seat in the witness stand as the deputy instructs you. Go as close as you can to the desk to make sure that you're heard. You may proceed. Good afternoon, Mr. Johansson. Good afternoon. Could you state your name for the record? Erica Johansson. Okay. And I understand, I don't mean to be too personal, but who do you work for? A credo. Okay. Do they have a place called Express Scripts? Yeah, Express Scripts is the big fish, and Credo is the specialty pharmacy I work for. Okay, thank you very much. Um, now, do you conduct interviews or take part in interviews for this company? I do. Okay, and did you ever take part in an interview of someone named Grant Amato? I did. Do you happen to see Mr. Amato in the courtroom anywhere? And you can stand up if, if you need to. Yes, I do. Okay. Um, is he in the table behind me to my left, closest to the wall? Yes. Okay, Judge, I would ask that the record reflect that Mr. Johansson has identified Grant Amano. The record is reflect. Do you recall the date of this interview with Mr. Amano? It was in January 25th, I believe. Okay, does January 25th okay. sound accurate? Yes. Okay, and it was, in the, was it in the morning of January 25th? It was in the morning. Do you remember the exact time or approximately? I remember it was scheduled for 10 a.m. And I believe I was Skyped by security around 9-ish, and we started around 9.20-ish, I would say. Okay. When you pulled into work that morning, did you see Mr. Amato? I don't know if I saw him or not. Do you think it's possible? It could be a possibility, yes. Okay. Should I take one moment? Yes. Mr. Johansson, are you unsure about whether you saw him, Mr. Amato, that morning? I saw a man in a car behind me that morning. I don't know who it was. Okay. Um... for police about this case at any point? I did. Okay. Um, I understand a few of these things happened a while ago. Would just reviewing this refresh your recollection at all about what happened around then? Would it help? Um, yeah. Okay. May I approach the witness, Judge? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm showing the witness uh, for the record what's been pre-marked as double M Thank you. defense exhibit. 
Could you just take a moment and just read it to yourself? Yes. Thank you. Okay. My focus at this point is the final portion of that. Um, is your memory refreshed as to what went on then? What I was thinking, yes. Okay. Uh, were you thinking at the time that you saw him when you arrived at the office? Or at I, the place where you work? I recall seeing a skinny gentleman in a car behind me, but I can't state if it was him or not. <clears throat> sure, I understand. And did you take part in Mr. Amato's interview? Yes. And take part, I'm assuming it means that were you in the same room together? Correct. And did you ask him questions during the interview? I did. Okay. Did you any, notice anything abnormal about him at that time? I didn't notice anything abnormal. Okay. Was he calm? He was calm. Did he seem flustered at all? He did not appear to be. Okay. Did this interview at the time appear anything other than completely normal to you, as you stated earlier? Yes, it appeared normal. Okay. No further questions, Judge. Cross. Good afternoon. Hello. On January 25th of 2019, you did conduct an interview of the defendant in this case, Grant Amato. Is that correct? Yes. And you said that the interview was scheduled for 10 o'clock in the morning? Correct. And you noticed that Grant Amato arrived, or you were <coughs> called by security at 9 o'clock in the morning. Correct. So is it fair to say Grant Amato was there an hour before his scheduled interview? Yes. Do you recall making any observations of the defendant's eyes that morning? Yes, he looked tired. Okay. And what made you think he looked tired? I'm um, just kind of glassy and a little pink. Okay. His eyes were pink? Yes. Okay. Um, any first impressions of the defendant? Um, <coughs> my first impression was that he looked a little, as I said earlier, creepy. I don't like saying that. I feel bad saying that, but yes. Okay. Um, and did you offer the job to Grant Amato on January 25th of 2019? I did not offer it to him. Okay. Nothing further. Did he Nothing good. Any questions, members of the jury? No questions. May this witness be excused and released. Yes, Judge. All right, thank you very much, ma'am. You're excused and you're released. Can you, uh, defense may call their next witness. Defense oh, next I'm witness. sorry. Uh, the next witness is Sam Coors. <coughs> Mr. Coors, please come forward to the podium. Raise your right hand. Be ready to be sworn. You may proceed. Good afternoon, Mr. Coors. Could you please state your name? Yes, Samuel Coors. Do you know of an establishment called Florida Pawn and Gun? I do. And what is your relationship with that business? I am a managing member. I own it and work there and run it. Okay. Uh, are you the custodian of records for Florida Pawn and Gun? I am. And where is Florida Pawn and Gun located? It's uh, 9318 East Colonial Drive in Orlando. Okay, and as part of your duties, do you maintain custody and control of Florida Pawn and Guns records? Yes. Judge, may I approach the clerk? Yes. <coughs> Judge, may I approach the witness? Mr. Coors, I'm showing you what has been pre-marked as Defense Exhibit Double N for identification purposes. Yes. What is it? This is the. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you know what? Um, before we get there, um, is that um, is that a form you use for business purposes? Yes, it is. And okay. Thank you. 
judge, at, at this time I would introduce uh, what has been previously marked for identification purposes, I believe is double N into evidence as defense next. May I approach? Well, no, because um, we have not redone all the others. So once we go through, I'll have to do that for the record. Go ahead. Session. You may. Thank you, sir. Sure. May I approach the clerk, clerk judge? You may. May I approach the witness judge? You may. Mr. Clerk, what is this document that you hold? This is the... Uh, Pawn broker transaction form that's required by the state of Florida that's filled out anytime someone sells or pawns something at our shop. Okay. May I approach the witness, Judge? I forgot about the overhead. I don't want to place yeah. it on there. Mr. Shakur, I'm showing you what has been marked in evidence as Defense Exhibit 36. Is this the pawn broker transaction form you were just describing? Yes, it is. I'm going to zoom in. What is the transaction date on this form? It's uh, September 23rd of 2018. Okay. And then could you tell me which... Actually, could you tell me what happened with this transaction? Based on this form? Based on the form, I can tell you. Yeah. Right. I don't have any independent recollection. No problem. Based on the form, what happened here? And if I need to move this around at all for you, let me know. Yeah, so the customer listed at the top came in and brought in, I don't know what they brought in, but we ended up buying a shotgun, a Benelli shotgun and a Smith & Wesson um, 9 millimeter pistol from them. And I can't see all the information on there, but, but, um, but we ended up buying them. I think the total was, I think, $650 for both. Okay. And was that seller named Grant Amato? That's what it says on the form, so I would have okay. to say yes. Okay. And according to the form, his address was 2112 Sultan Circle in Chuliota. Is that accurate? Yeah, that's correct. And that, that information gets entered into our system from the driver's license so that we scan it and, and it goes into the system. So that's that would be the address that was on the license. I don't know if it's the actual address. Okay. Um, have you ever heard of the Florida Gun Exchange? Have I heard of it? Yes. yes. I'm just going to ask you to do a little reading for me, if you don't mind. Okay. Does this look like a transaction form from them? Florida Gun Exchange, right there? Your Honor, I mean, I don't know if it's a transaction form from there. Object, it hasn't been as the basis predicate hasn't been established that he's familiar what, with what that document is. Right That's the objection. Sustained at this point. Okay. No problem. <clears throat> no further questions at this time, Judge. Any cross? Yeah, no questions, Your Honor. Any questions, members of the jury? No questions. Uh, may this witness be excused and released? Uh, yes, Judge. All right, thank you, sir. You're excused and released. All right, members of the jury, we have one more brief witness. Uh, next witness. State defense, next witness. Judge, the next witness is Jason Amato. you are still under oath because you haven't been released so at this point sir uh, please have a seat in the witness stand all right mr shapiro mr Mono, one question for you were you aware of a marijuana growing operation occurring at 2112 sultan circle your honor i'm going to, I'm going to object to the uh, characterization characterization of it being an operation i'm sorry were you aware that there was marijuana growing going on at 2112 Sultan Circle? No, sir. Okay. No further questions. Any cross? I have no questions. Any questions, members of the jury? Write them down.
this is the question that's permitted to be asked. Uh, were you aware that your mother used marijuana? No, I would say I am sh for sure my mother did not use marijuana. Okay. All right. Any questions based on that question, Mr. Shapiro? None, Judge. Any questions based on that question, Mr. Stone? No, no. All right. Any more questions, members of the jury? All right. At this point, uh, th may this witness be excused and released? For yes. defense, yes, Judge. Okay. You're excused and you're released from your subpoena. Okay. All right, members of the jury, at this point, we're going to break for the evening. Uh, we are going to come back again and start back up at 8.30 tomorrow morning. Uh, we will be going into closing arguments tomorrow sometime. Uh, I do want to let you, just in case, uh, because at this point, with the uh, based upon how the case is proceeding, we may go and how long closings may be, because there is extensive amount of evidence for both sides. Uh, we may go past time tomorrow, although I don't anticipate it, but just in case, I'd like you all to be prepared. All right? So just to make sure, if you can, uh, and then we will go from there. All right? Uh, but you all are free to go uh, for the evening. Remember, don't talk about the case with each other, with anybody else, or, any, or look at anything on the Internet or otherwise. Have a good evening. You may be seated. All right. The other thing that the court wants to know, I have the jury instructions that were provided to me by the state, and I assume the defense were, saw them as well. Is there any, uh, are there, the instructions that I saw, I just glanced at them briefly, appear to be standard. Were there any objections or anything that you noted at this time? Okay, uh, because then my thought is, too, is if we could get here be shortly before, we have two choices. We could either get here shortly before and do a brief charging conference before we start up tomorrow morning, or we could do a brief conference before you guys do closings and then uh, have them, but I'm just afraid that they won't be done by the time closing arguments comes. Okay. All right, so we'll come in at 8.15. We'll do the charging conference then tomorrow morning on the jury instructions. Everybody be prepared. Uh, then that way that'll give the state's uh, uh, assistance time to make the co appropriate copies for everyone at that time. Okay? All right, everybody, have a good evening.